And I'm sprinting off now to the press launch of the McLaren 600 LT. LT now, these contrasted interior colors in this. I have to say, I am much more impressed with that car than I thought I was going to be. Could that be a replacement car for the Lamborghini Huracan? Well, I have to say, I am starting to fall more and more in love with the 600 LT as I spend more time with it. It is by far the best sounding McLaren they have ever made. And I believe the 600 LT takes that to the next level. I think this thing with the tune might actually be faster than the Huracan and looks really damn cool. And I feel like I need to switch things up on the channel. I love this car. I am so excited. It's really special, guys. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, today is an incredibly exciting day because I am finally taking delivery of my new McLaren 600 LT. Eight months ago, I saw this car at the Goodwood Festival of Speed where it was released and absolutely fell in love. I posted on Instagram, the only question was, what color should I get it in? Now, I was a little bit nervous because I hadn't yet purchased a car that I hadn't driven before actually putting a down payment on it yet. But having driven the 675 LT, the 720S, and having trusted McLaren as the brand, I thought, you know what, it's probably going to be pretty good. Then I went to Budapest and drove the car, and it exceeded my expectations in every single way. Incredibly raw, nimble, sounds better than any McLaren I've ever heard. The shifts are awesome, and it's just the absolute most fun track toy for the road. Fast forward a couple months and I got to drive it again on the road in Palm Springs down at Thermal Club, also got to do it on the track, and then just got to drive it in Arizona, the LT Spider that is. So today I'm being joined by my sister Madison and her friend Shelby. We're taking the Lamborghini and my mom is visiting, so we're taking that beautiful rental van to go to McLaren of Newport Beach and pick up the new car. We got Maddie and Shelby. Are you excited for the McLaren? Howdy! <laughs> I'll take that as a yeah. I'm really excited for the McLaren, actually. How excited are you to drive that? I've been waiting my entire life for this moment, so this is the coolest car that I've ever touched. And you're filming a vlog too? <clears throat> We're vlogging. All right, time to head out. McLaren Newport Beach, off we go. Out on beautiful PCH, 60 miles to go, and we'll be at McLaren. <laughs> it's engineering explained. What is up, dude? What are the odds on seeing him? Jason Fenske from Engineering Explained, the last time I saw him was at the 600 LT Spider launch, and then he drives by in an 800 horsepower Hellcat on the way to pick up my 600 LT. He's here for Fuel Fest, something I really, really wanted to go to, but unfortunately that's the same day I'm taking a flight to Geneva for the Geneva International Auto Show. Oh, we got a tunnel. We got a tunnel. That is a really cool color for the Hellcat. Been driving for a little over an hour now. The anticipation is killing me. I just keep picturing that roof scoop. A license plate though on that clean F80. Rolex blowout. <laughs> that was one of the least authentic looking signs I've ever seen. Oh my God, we are here in McLaren Newport Beach. My car should be somewhere inside there. Beautiful, Urus. All right, waiting for my sister to pull up in a matter of minutes, I'm going to get to see my 600 LT for the first time in the flesh. I have never seen one other than that MSO edition one in black with a roof scoop in Lantana purple and with all of the carbon fiber options. So I'm extremely excited to see how my spec that I envision online comes to fruition in reality. Oh, I'm excited to head inside. Beautiful FF outside. 
This is your first time in the McLaren dealer, right? Yep. I am <laughs> so freaking pumped right now. How was the drive? Probably terrible. It was literally the worst <laughs> thing ever, and you're so welcome. Oh. oh, okay, okay. Okay. So thank you so much for coming with me. You. Obviously, you know, doing car deliveries is fun, awesome experience getting a new car, but you got to share it with people that you love. So I'm glad my sister's here, and then uh, her friend over there. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that's awkward. I don't love you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> All right, Maddie, can you hold the camera? Let's do this. Let's go. All right, let's go. Normally, I'd let you go first, but uh, you know, I'll do it anyways. <laughs> Here we are. Hello. Ooh, look at that. Travis. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, seriously. Guys, seriously, thank you so much. We hit 2 million subscribers. I am so stoked. If you're not subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, and also, special shout out to this guy for putting up with me, changing my build like a lot of different times. This car has changed so many different colors, but I think finally, the color that I chose is an epic spec. So, McLaren Newport Beach, thank you so much. Travis, excellent salesman. Let's check it out. Thank you. Do you want to pull the cover off? God, that is so sick. The Lantana Purple looks so awesome in person. And then of course, we got the roof scoop. This is the first time I've seen a car with the roof scoop in a color other than the MSO Black. Oh my, we got the Senna seats. I'm so freaking pumped right now. <laughs> yeah, the only other car that I've seen with the roof scoop is the, uh, the manufacturer car. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen any other ones with the roof scoop. And I haven't actually heard one uh, driving around with the roof scoop yet. I know it makes a huge difference in terms of the actual induction sound into the cabin, but oh my God. And none of the cars that uh, McLaren has loaned you has a roof scoop. No, yet. none of them. Yeah. You're gonna love it, it's insane. So we will do a full walk around, obviously a review of the car, go over all of the specs and details and the options, but oh, I gotta let this sink in, it's freaking awesome. All right, gonna climb inside the car for the first time. I just realized this is also my first car I've ever had with doors that actually go up. Finally, I don't have a freaking Lamborghini without Lamborghini doors. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh. So we got this entire sill in carbon fiber that looks absolutely amazing. And then these McLaren orange racing harnesses. Holy crap with a giant red thing that says track use only. We'll see about that. Oh. How does it feel? Oh, the seats fit like a glove. I'm so stoked right now, guys. This is ridiculous. Strapped in. This is so sick. Got the 600 LT up on the dash. Carbon fiber everywhere in the interior. Upgraded Bowers and Wilkins speaker system. And you can see the roof scoop in the cabin itself. We should be able to hear a bunch of induction noise whooshing around. All right, guys, I'm literally freaking out right now. This car looks so freaking awesome. I'm actually looking at the camera lens and it is not even close to properly picking up the actual color of this car. It's actually looking super blue in this lighting, but that's what I love so much about the Lantana Purple is it's this deep, glossy purple that mixes between bright purple in the sun and this darker blue when it's in the shade. And I also went with similar things uh, interior themes as well. We've got the blue brake calipers. I was a little bit worried it wasn't gonna work out, but it looks so nice. And then inside, we've actually got deep blue Alcantara. 
You can kind of tell the difference between the deep blue and the black, and then we have this beautiful blue stitching. That harness though. This is crazy, it actually looks completely blue in this lighting on the camera, and it looks completely purple in real life. I can't. <laughs> All right, you guys will just have to trust me that the car is actually purple and not blue. All right, here's a question I probably don't want to know the answer to. What is the proper break-in mileage and procedure on this car? Um, I would say that the cars come pre-broken in. Okay, that's the best answer I've heard yet. Yeah, because we have, like, we had our own 600 LT demo car. Uh-huh. Um, and, you know, that's, you know, we have to take that car on test drives yep. and on the track and things like that. And we've never had any problems with it. And none of our demo cars have ever had any problems. Okay. But for me personally. Oh, boy. Um, I would probably drive it for 100, 200, 300 miles just to gotcha. make sure that everything's, you know, all good. That's what I do on my personal vehicles, but I think technically in the owner's manual, um, it says like 500 or 800 miles is the break-in period. Oh man, there's three but different options here. <laughs> some of our customers don't even, uh, you know, have their car that long. Yeah, so, so I don't void the warranty if I ex exceed a certain RPM before 800 miles? Uh, I don't think so. What's that? Um, so since you got the track telemetry package uh -huh. with, with the cameras, uh, what you would do is, uh, this is a USB that you would put on your computer. Nice. Um, so that you can begin transferring the uh, track telemetry onto your computer. Cool. Uh, so I opened up the first aid kit, which should probably stay in your car, but inside of it, uh, I put this, uh, um, it's a tool to get leverage on your um, manual key. Gotcha. So if you ever have uh, a dead battery with the car, um, if the window is rolled up, don't open the door because it'll break the window. Uh, the window gets crushed between that the would door suck. And, the, <laughs> and, the, and the window sill. Um, so what's supposed to happen is when the car anticipates that you're getting a dead battery, it will drop the window about halfway. Uh -huh. And then what you would do to enter the vehicle is that the, there's actually a keyhole down there. Wow. And, uh, and then you would, your key comes apart and then there's a metal key in there that you would put right in there and then it gives you the leverage you need to open the door. Another thing is this tool uh -huh. that you would use to open the service cover. <laughs> um, and then there's, uh, you can top up the car with oil or coolant. Gotcha. Um, but if the car ever gets low on oil or low on coolant, just bring it into McLaren service and we'll cool. take care of it for you. A um, couple other things. Um, ever since the lawsuit between Salamandran and <laughs> McLaren Automotive, uh, all McLarens now come with a fire extinguisher. Um, and to release it, you would just pull uh, this tab. There's no chance, that, it always came with that. What's that? It always came with that, didn't it? It did. Okay, <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> I'm super pumped. These guys invited me to a track day at Spring Mountain. I've never been there before. Apparently it's a fantastic track and it'll be epic to take this car that lives and breathes on the track out there for the first time. Oh, the roof scoop is so cool. All right, here we go, it's official. Can't return it now. <laughs> All right, time to pair my phone. We've got Audi, Ferrari, Music Studio, Lamborghini, Mercedes, and here, Iris, is that how you pronounce it? Yep, that's right. This should be the McLaren. Oh, you have Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just bragging. No, I don't. Getting the cars moved out of the way now so I can go out on my first drive in the 600 LT. That Ford GT sounds absolutely mean. So guys, if you're wondering what the inspiration behind the McLaren orange seatbelt and the blue calipers was, it actually came from McLaren's Formula One car. All right, the most sacrilegious part of this entire video is I'm the sorry. mandatory front plate. I'm sorry, Parker, I have to put it on for the Antelope Highway Patrol. <laughs> I'm gonna take it right off. Because actually maneuvering this car out of the McLaren showroom sounds a bit scary, I'm giving the honor to Travis. The first time the car is being driven. Let's get that start up.
going for my first drive in the 600 LT with my sister. Woo! Oh, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> this car, guys, this is like, I was excited for this car, but then seeing it in person, sitting in it right now, I am like in another world. This is so freaking cool. I All like right. the, the bucket seats. I feel like I'm snug. I'm yeah, these are the McLaren Senna bucket completely seats. Completely safe. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and put it into track mode, obviously. Active. All right. Beep, beep, beep. And no. off we go. Wait, how do I, what's that down here? How'd you go forward, like? You, uh, it's a manual seat adjustment Ooh. for weight saving, so. Okay, cool. All right. How am I on that side? Can you see it all? Uh, not really. I mean, there's nothing obstructing you, so that's okay. good. Watch out for this guy. He's really just wanted to bust just down. Just wanted to go. Bust down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All this traffic makes yeah, it so makes good. Yeah, it makes it even better. Like I've driven a 600 LT many times now, but when it's your own, it's like it's just a whole different ball game. Oh, that noise is so nice. Ah. All right, let's switch it into uh, manual mode. I got the uh, track telemetry package, so it gives you uh, basically like a GoPro for the racetrack. <laughs> That's so cool. the carbon fiber accents in the interior. I'm so stoked the way the spec came out. I feel like I can fit so many things in this one. Yeah, the storage space is just plentiful. There's, there's no storage space. Yeah, Waiting for the tires to warm up. Wasn't able to do a uh, super solid pull yet because, well, it's on Trofeo R tires that need to be heated up. Oh, I found space. Yeah, there you go. The sounds it makes, the steering feel, the look of the car. I, it's not translating over video like I wanted to, but uh, hopefully uh, in some direct sunlight instead of indoors, uh, when we do the full review on this car, we can get some glamour shots that really capture the purple, but it is absolutely breathtaking. And you know what? Even if you guys hate it, I hope you don't hate it. I love it. Sick. Holy crap. 
Thank you so much, McLaren, McLaren Newport Beach. This is an absolute dream come true. I am so excited for the next chapter of vehicle versions with this car. This thing is an absolute riot. The car looks strike. It looks even more blue than it does before, but seeing the 600 LT and the Huracan next to each other is absolutely awesome. We are at my favorite spot for special occasions down in Newport Beach, and that is Javier's. Let's get some good food. Just finished up a fabulous dinner at Javier's and thought the car looked incredible under this lighting. But once again, now I'm looking in the camera, it looks so blue. I don't know how to capture the purple nature of this car, but even blue looks kind of cool. I'm having so much fun with this car, guys. The roof scoop induction noise is absolutely ridiculous. So stoked that I ended up getting the roof scoop and it looks freaking badass. Just got back to the house, got the whole squad checking out the car. What do you guys think of the seats, the center seats? Bro, they're comfortable as hell. I, I can't believe how comfortable they are, wow. <laughs> what do you guys think in general? Ridiculous. Yeah. Best color for sure. Yeah. <laughs> what an absolutely epic day. I am blown away by the car. It has exceeded my expectations in every single way. I can't wait to take this thing to the track. I think the only way to end this video officially, the right way, is to shoot some flames. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Special thanks to McLaren Newport Beach. Thank you guys so much for 2 million subscribers. Let's see those flames. Whoa, 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 whoa.